Hello guys, welcome to another video on the channel. This is not your typical video that we have on this channel, but a little criticism has actually arrived onto the Monkcast, which apparently took place in December, but completely went over our heads. We didn't see or hear anything about it until now. So we're responding to it right now. Normally we don't respond to this kind of thing because we would be here all day, I guess, if we responded to every little piece of criticism for the, for the Monkcast. But like I said, we are just here because there are some things in this particular video that is just not true and uh, borderline insulting. So I'm just going to briefly kind of go over points within the video, not run the entire thing, but just answer a few points that were raised in the video. And yes, in this video, I'll be represented by a blue floating background. If you want to know what I look like, just check out my vlogs. They're on the channel. Anyway, let's get started. The main issue that I was taught, I mean, not the, I mean, yes, the main issue in this video that... The first section of this video has been cut out because it's about a, sh a school shooting. Sorry. Um, this is unscripted, by the way, just a little heads up. So if I do ers and ahs and ums, do you know why? But anyway, we've cut it out because it's not relevant to what I'm talking about in this video, but all my respects goes out to the families of people who are involved in school shootings. It's a really bad thing. I'm going to address it to the monk cast. And if you guys don't know, or maybe you do know, since you know the, like, the other channel fandom coming out, like, the fandom already hates me, and, like, like, I know this hate me, and, like, making more videos about other channels, like, the fandom is crazy, they, like, not only are they misogynist, but, yeah, they're still gonna hate me when doing this, but... I'm sorry, but maybe the fandom would hate you less if you didn't call a group of people that are in the millions crazy, and refer to them and insinuate that they are misogynists. The one cast is like, you know, this fan-made podcast with... The chipmunks and the chip pets, since I guess we don't want to be sexist, but... The chip heads are included in the monk cast because, believe it or not, the chip heads are my favourite characters. Which is why a majority of the first half of the season revolves around them. It's supposed to be. Oh, well, I'm Ida the Owl Lady. And only two weeks away. Have you all got your gifts for the boys? Insane crowds. I, I, I just needed some way of... Escaping it all. Out. Oh. It's a video from Lauren. Here she is. Hey! Why are you all using punny names? This podcast shouldn't use puns. And not to forget that our disclaimer is said by Brittany. My personal favourite character. The following is 100% totally fan-made. So the notion that the chipettes are there just because they need to be is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I guess they don't want to be sexist, but they want to be misogynist. The definition of a misogynist is someone who hates women. This could not be further from the truth. You only have my word for it, but every single piece of fiction that I've ever watched, most of the time, my favourite character in that work is the female character, or a female character. So calling me personally a misogynist is one of the worst insults you could throw at me. And quite frankly, it's nothing but slander. I would even go as far as to say that it's defamation, which to some can actually be seen as a crime. I, I guess including the ghost will not make you sexist, but it will make you a misogynist. Like, that's so ironic. You seem to not understand what a misogynist is. Including the chip heads does not make us a misogynist. And it's also quite important to note as well that the people behind the Monkcast, or the Domidian Media team, there are eight of us, and uh, five of them are women. And that includes one of our key writers, Isabella Urban. So you can see how outlandish and defamatory these statements are. So on the third episode of the Monkcast, the Thanksgiving special, they finally read my comments, and even before I had some concerns with the Monkcast and the misogyny. So first off, yeah, I guess my name is pretty much Britta Stories. Britta Stories? I'm sorry if I butcher your name. Yeah, my name is Britta Stories. 
<laughs> oh my god, that part is more funny, but like, have you taken Spanish class? Like, you're supposed to be the small one, so you should know that that accent, you know, meant historias. Like, historias means stories, and my name is Brittany. Brit. So, Brit historias. Yes, we know all about the accent mark, and we know all about how to pronounce names, and all of that kind of jibber jabber, whatever. I don't know what a jibber jabber is, but you know, whatever. To be completely honest with you, this is probably just a mistake because we get so many comments and questions and things and whatnot from different sources that when we copy them into the script by hand, typing them in, those accent marks usually aren't copied into the script with it. I wrote that script on episode three, so I probably made that mistake. And then when I went to record it or when the chipmunks went to record it, whatever you want to say, it was just said as an I rather than the accent mark, which if it was there, I totally would have done it in a, in a Spanish accent as Simon. Let's just say that, like, Simon just said my comments so half-heartedly, so, like, that's not what I was trying to say. It might not be how you intended it to be read, but that's how Simon read it. It was completely in character, in my opinion. We have done this thing for over 10 years. I think it's been longer than that, actually. I can't really remember off the top of my head. That's how long it's been. But it's just all done to the best of our ability within the character's r dynamic range. Like, I wasn't trying to be shallow about it. I was trying to be like truthful about it. But, you know, misogyny. There you go again with the misogyny thing. Sorry, I'm saying in your accent, misogyny. Um, it's not misogyny just because we, or Simon, misread your question the way you intended it to be read, I guess, or the way you didn't intend to be, whatever. And because I thought that the comment would have been way too long if I add this, but my sister used to be a huge fan of Tinkerbell as well. The ironic thing about this entire situation is that when I was writing the script for this particular episode that she's referring to, episode 3, I didn't know anything about Tinkerbell. Like, at all. I had to do a ton of research and actually watch Tinkerbell in order to know all the characters and which character that the chipmunk characters would like. Or, in this case, Jeanette. So it's kind of... It's kind of a shame that all that hard work that I put into that particular part of the script has just gone to waste on someone who essentially just hates it. Like, it's strange how, you know, in the actual show, they actually, you know, they're not misogynist when it comes to Jeanette, like... I think you are mistaking misogynist with sexist, and the canon material, or the Bagdasarian productions, or the, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, they have in the past done things that are very questionable to the chipettes, like put them in slave girl outfits and have them appear naked in one episode of the old show. And in this newer show, there are probably other examples, but I haven't got the time to run through the entire series to look for them. And when this Jeanette, yes, I know that this is supposed to be fan-made, but it doesn't matter since we're still pretending that it's not fan-made. Nobody is pretending that it's not fan-made, but there is such a thing as suspension of disbelief, which is supposed to do when you're watching the Monk cast because we, as fans, know the characters just as well as the producers of the original show do. And uh, we all come together and we give this show of what the chipmunks probably would say, given the questions that they're given. So, yeah, using a lot of research as well. There's a ton of research that goes into the character design of the voices and the characterization. We don't just stick on the microphone and record whatever comes to our head. It's a very detailed and complex process. And so when this Jeanette responded to my comment, it was like, I didn't feel like I was talking to the real Jeanette, and I didn't feel like she was talking directly to me. Like, you couldn't even make her talk directly towards me. Hi there. Look, I I'm sorry that you feel this way. I never intended to hurt your feelings, or that it would lead you to make all these false accusations at, at the team. They, they didn't do anything wrong. But let's forget about that. Look, I, I'm sorry. I, I really did enjoy that movie. It was, it was a lot of fun, and, and I did cry. You said it yourself. 
Who wouldn't, right? I, I actually thought for a second that, that Gruff was dying, but he only went into hibernation, right? At least I hope that's what it was. And Tink was really, really badly injured. And that made me sad. Very sad. Sorry. Uh, I'll give you back to Chris. Like, she could have said thank you, like, you could have at least make her say thank you, but you couldn't because misogyny. Thank you. I didn't feel like I was talking to the true Jeanette. I felt like I was talking to a little toddler because I couldn't even understand, like, what she said at the beginning, like, blah, 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 blah. like, I couldn't really understood what, understood, understand what she was saying by, you know, what was her favorite song. Like, all I could hear, all I could hear was jellyfish, like. Geese live in a gargoyle, coyotes in a pack. A group of jellyfish is called, sorry. <laughs> that was the only word out of all of that. I could understand. Yeah, that's kind of hate. Like, this is so ironic, but they're also... Like, saying that watching childish things make you act like a child and belittle her more when, really, like, you you guys are freaking adults you watch out for the chipmunk, so it's just like... At no point during the episode does Jeanette get belittled for liking Tinkerbell. I mean, yes, adults like Alvin the Chipmunks, that's a given. We grew up with them, so generally we are going to like them. There are people out there that are a fan of Thomas the Tank. The some people call him Thomas the Train. There are people out there that are still fans of Peppa Pig. There are people out there that are fans of the Teletubbies. You know, it doesn't really matter how old you are. Age is just a number. I myself actually do like Tinkerbell. Like I said, my character preference is usually the female character. And I really enjoyed watching her portrayal in the original Peter Pan movie. Like I said, I only just recently watched the Tinkerbell movies for that video. But yes, I really enjoyed watching Tinkerbell in those movies as well, and I'm an adult. And when I said Jeanette's like Fawn, I wasn't talking about, you know, the outside details. Like, oh, Fawn's the tomboy and Jeanette isn't J to Fawn. Fawn has more confidence while Jeanette, you know, she's too shy. I'm sorry if I'm using this voice. Okay, I'm, oh, for seriously, I'm sorry. Yes, absolutely. When we responded to the question, we were totally talking about the inside of Jeanette. Well, not literally the inside of Jeanette, but I'm talking about her personality, her persona, her characterization, all of the above, and so on and so on and so on. Trust me, I know more about this than you think. And also, one thing I like to address, again, like, tied to the misogyny of not just the monk cat, but the fandom itself that... I know this is a video and it's been pre-recorded and everything and that's not the point, but this misogyny accusation is really getting tiresome at this point of watching the video. I have a daughter, a little daughter, a little girl, she's 11 months old at this point. A daughter that I wanted more than I wanted a son. In fact, I didn't even want a son. I wanted a daughter. It is, the, you, you don't get to pick, but I did. I said, you know what? I want a daughter. I don't want a son. And you're trying to tell me that I am misogynistic and you think that I think that she can't get along in the world because she's a girl? Absolute trivial absolute bull crap. I am the furthest thing from misogynistic that you will ever see. He even tried to say, you know, I haven't watched Tinkerbell movies, but you know, that's not the question. And I was just like, yeah, that's not the question because I literally just asked you now, like, did my comment said anything about Simon, but not nah. like afterwards that like the comment just started being all about Simon and not Jeanette anymore. Like I asked this question to Jeanette, but nope, now it's about Simon because Yep, somewhere in that little thing, you know, I guess it was like invisible ink or something. I said, Simon, talk more. And I get it, like... Simon is talking more because he's nervous around Jeanette. Yes, it's a character trait that comes and goes, but sort of on and off. Sometimes he's okay talking to her, sometimes he's not. But it's a character trait that I played on in that scene. The Phantom only likes Jeanette mostly when she either acts like Simon or makes Simon happy, which... Which makes me really have to act, you know? You are 100% wrong. That is not an opinion. It is completely objective truth. Why am I talking about misogyny in 2021? Because you brought it up. 
There is no misogyny here. You just brought it up. In 2021, why am I talking about misogyny? Like, this should be like a problem that was like centuries ago. Like, I'm being serious. Why am I Usually I make fun of like feminism or fan or feminazis or whatever when I like try to like shove like gold power straight to their face, like just shove it down their throats. Like I may be a dude, I guess. I don't really subscribe to the whole identity gender thing, but I suppose you could call me a feminist. You know, I do think that women need and have equal rights. Especially, well, they, they do in the UK anyway. I know the US is a completely different story, but you know, it's just it's just this thing that that, sh that just should be like free healthcare. Making Janelle look more dumber and weaker than she is on the actual show doesn't make Simon look smarter. Like Janelle, like Janelle in the fandom and kind of in the actual show is what I like to call an intellectual duff. Which, if you don't know the original meaning of the duff, you know, it's like the designated ugly fat friend. So, like, many people use this as an example to, like, describe the duff, you know? Like, when you see two girls... I totally disagree. Jeanette is basically the same Jeanette that's in the TV show. We don't defame her in any way and make Simon seem smarter. In my opinion, Jeanette is actually smarter than Simon. But in the show, Jeanette does go to Simon for help quite often. There is that episode where they're trying to become superheroes and Jeanette can't do it. But Simon can. Who's misogynistic now? Like, I don't want to talk to the dumber female Simon. I want to talk to Jeanette. And I want Jeanette to talk to me back. Oh yeah? Well, did you ever think that maybe Jeanette doesn't want to talk to someone who actively calls people defamatory statements? And calls a fandom crazy? And says that people hate women without any actual proof? All your statements are false and... I, I don't know if I'm the real Jeanette or what, but I'm a facsimile of it. You need to have a little bit of more respect. You said this isn't hate, but it is. What hurts even more about this misogyny is that I watch the actual show. Like, I know Jeanette, I see Jeanette, and I am Jeanette. Like, I Yes, you might claim to be Jeanette, whatever that is, but we actually are Jeanette. We play the character for the same audience that watches the show. So it doesn't really make any difference about who's playing it or what's making it or anything, really. I mean, personally, I've been doing these voices and tried to master the characterization for more than, like, 13, 14 years. Or brainwashing everyone to have, like, these misogynistic viewpoints of Jeanette's true character that she's only supposed to be there to make Simon look smarter or make Simon happy. Like, what year was this?! And like to the monk has like you can brainwash everyone into thinking those misogynistic dicks a few points, but like you can brainwash every one of your fans. That's just unequivocally false. I prefer Jeanette over Simon. I wouldn't belittle Jeanette just to make Simon smarter. If anything, I would push out the chipmunks from the monk cast completely and just have the chipettes. But obviously, we can't do that because some people actually like the chipmunks. And if it wasn't clear, I was being ironic. When she does actually talk about Jeanette possibly having Asperger's syndrome, it's not canon that she has autism um, at all. It's just kind of implied by the fans that she might have it, but canonically, she doesn't. And uh, I can't actually play the video because it's there's copyrighted music in it and I just can't use it. You know, just keep on going with the monk cast. Like, I'm not telling you to stop. I'm just, you know, having concerns. So just keep on making the monk cast and I guess just quit the misogyny. That's it. Just, like, what year are we living in? Come on. Yes, absolutely. We will continue the monk cast. It's going to be airing until it gets to about episode 10. And then we're going to quit for season one. And we're going to start work on season two which is going to be in, hopefully, a completely different format. If not, we'll continue with the one we have now, I guess. But anyway, that is pretty much it for the response to this video. We had to cut a lot of it out um, because it wasn't relevant to the, this video or I had already covered it. Um, ultimately, and in conclusion, 
There may be misogynistic Alvin the Chipmunks fans out there, or just basically misogynists, but us as a team with five female members on and three male members, one of which never shows up, so technically it's only two male members, we are not misogynistic. That's all I can say. I, I To stick up for ourselves, you know, we are not misogynistic. We never intended to write things that, that seemed that way. If they seem that way, which obviously they do, to you, well, that's your interpretation, your personal interpretation. No one has ever said anything like that before. It was not intentional. We are not misogynistic. I'll say it again. We have done it before in previous in the previous version of the Monkcast, where the Chipmunks just didn't show up to the episode. I think it was called the Chipette Cast or something like that, or the Pet Cast. I can't remember what it was called. I'm pretty sure it was the Chipette Cast because Pet Cast just sounds ridiculous. Now I can confirm that there aren't any plans to have an episode like that in this season, but I can confirm that the majority of them start with the Chipettes, like they have for the first half of the season, which obviously you didn't notice. And furthermore, Jeanette is actually a key player in those stories as well. So, yeah, she has top billing, you know? I am a personally, like I've said before in the video, I'm personally a big fan of, of Britney. She's my favourite character overall. Like the Chipettes, I kind of prefer the Chipettes to the Chipmunks, which is very strange. I prefer their music, I prefer their characterization. I just prefer them through and through. And I actually did mention that to Janice, the voice of Jeanette and Brittany, when I talked to her. I said that, you know, she appreciated the fact that I was a fan of her creation more than the Chipmunks, which started it all off. But of course, overall, we do 100% apologize to you for not living up to your expectations and uh, hopefully, if you ever leave another comment, question, video, picture, whatever, that the next time that they are, it is answered on the show, which it will be, we don't harbour grudges, um, it will be answered to a more pleasing and better way than you, know, than you would like. But yes, that actually leads me to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, do leave a like. And if you disliked it, then you can leave a dislike, but I think that button's kind of like vanished. I don't know what's happened to it. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. We don't make videos like this all of the time, but we might make more in the future, kind of talking about the characters and Jeanette and how we understand them well enough to play them. But anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, uh, keep on monk. No, it doesn't sound weird coming from my voice. Uh, see you soon.